my viewers this is the first time i'm streaming in full screen mode so i'm a bit unused to this style of uh, streaming and i probably should get a second monitor or so so i can help this better in the future anyways we're playing play the spire today i don't really have much of an idea what i wanted to stream today so let's just play that i'm starting with a fresh save so I'll be playing as the Ironclad and, and, and go on as I beat the games. So we're starting at the bottom. I want to do some fast mode, this is the important one. So this is our starting deck. We strike, we have defense, we have a bash. And I've played this game quite a bit before, so I have an idea what I need to be doing. I think I'll start over here. Tutorial. So this means they're going to attack me on their turn. This one will do 6 damage, this one will do 7 damage. But I'll strike them down, this one down. Which will save me more damage when I would uh, playing the block. <laughs> Bash. Still not enough. Yes, uh, my deck replenishes whenever I empty it out. No need to explain me everything. Burning Pact is a good card. Let's upgrade some strikes so I have more damage. Removing cards from the deck is very good. You see, uh, I would not need to draw my hand two times to uh, recycle back. So. If there are specific cards I want to play, the fewer cards in my deck I have, the more likely it is that I draw the cards I want. Lock, lock, strike. This is pretty easy so far. Unfortunately, that was only two attacks. But I got it now. Hmm. I need something that does good damage. Ironclad has a relic up here, which heals me for 6 HP every fight. So, it's basically... 
basically an allowance of how much damage I'm allowed to take every battle without getting from Shragadosh is a super good block card. I would like to upgrade the bash. So this arm is probably good. Let's upgrade another card with twin strike. Sure you can. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. This does feed well into an aggressive strategy, so I'll have to see if I can find some cards that help me with this strategy. Elite enemies are much stronger than uh, regular ones. <coughs> but it's worth fighting them. You get those relics from fighting elite enemies. <laughs> Exhausting your cards removes them from the deck uh, for the rest of the fight. Which can be a good thing because it helps you thin out your deck. Or it can on top pickup gain 300 gold. Cleave is going to be uh, coming handy for one particular elite. Hmm. These guys split in half when they are below 50% HP. So you want to try and burst them down as far as possible so the split slimes are as weak as you can be. <laughs> mm. They're still just above the threshold. <laughs> Let's exhaust some more cards from our deck. Let's tack on some damage. <laughs> mm. I would like to discard this one for the attack potion. Pretty nasty customer. At the start of a fight, he will enrage, which means for every skill I play in this fight, he'll get to do more damage. <laughs> hmm. I have an idea. Let's do this real quick. <laughs> and I don't need to hold on to these so much. Uh, you get enough potions uh, through revenge. Pantograph at the start of boss combat, see 25 HP. So now I don't need to rest at the campsite. I would like to have some more vulnerable options. <laughs> I'm loaded, so let's go to the shop. Now this mirror, paper frog. Yes, please. Mm. Do I have any card I want to duplicate? Wow. 
Let's remove one of his weaker blocks. Take this better one. And I would like to du duplicate the twin strike. Why not? <laughs> This is a pretty annoying effect. Now this turn I cannot attack. <laughs> At least I got full block and the card out of my deck. <laughs> Not that it matters. <laughs> Rage. Rage is actually a pretty good idea. It's a checker options. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not really relevant. But I do want to play free attack so I can get my shuriken trigger. So now he's in defensive mode and we'll get thorns. <laughs> but it triggers per attack plate, not per... <laughs> not per hit. Pretty productive. <laughs> Blocked. Let's get another shuriken trigger. <laughs> We're doing, going, doing pretty well so far. Oh. Shrug. Burning Pact. Shrug again. So now we should be uh, set up to uh, go for some burst damage. <laughs> Rage really helps me a lot uh, staying on the aggressive. <laughs> so now just one more hit should be it. These are some pretty clunky powers. <laughs> but I would like to have Juggernaut from those. <laughs> Possibly comet gains a ninja at the start of a turn. Tiny house gives me a lot of tiny buffs. Sozu is pretty good. And I could use some more energy. So I guess that's what we'll go for. Guess we're not meant to get more potions after all. Hmm. Let's check some path options. There's a whole lot of question marks here. Hmm. I like this path a lot. Just 
I can not this quite helpful. I definitely should look to get at some zero cost uh, attacks to my deck. <laughs> hey, this is useful. Your back card is exhausted. Draw one card. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way first. This is a pretty nasty debuff that's coming our way. The text means that whenever we play something that's not an attack, we get a daste in our draw pile. We're good. Let's see. More thunderclaps is good. <laughs> I think I'll wait for the coin flip. Never punished. Type apparition max max v max HP. This is a pretty advanced and useful relic, but I don't think we need it. Mm. I think I can get rid of this card. Back of Marbles! This plays very well with a paper frog. We can take it. Let's see our new back cards back again soon. <laughs> If you keep the field clear of uh, gremlins, the leader will not attack you. <laughs> but I think now I have enough damage to burst him down. Because they run away if, if he's got down. <laughs> Start each combat with the bonds. We don't get that. Hmm. This is pretty conducive to our strategies. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I 
I think I need some blocks in the thing. <laughs> Do we have any uh, upcoming elite fights? Best one. Let's take the sling. <laughs> Every time you take Fan Attacks, gain an energy. This is not per round or per combat. Uh, it carries over between combats and keeps a tally on it. Dragon out. We disarm you. Now we have enough uh, to clash. <laughs> Our deck's coming together quite well. Never mind. You do that to the fonts. <laughs> this is pretty useful for a strategy. Let's upgrade it right away. <laughs> How many strikes do I have left? Four. So just one additional card for better strikes. <laughs> Because they hear me. <laughs> Make the Dark Embrace cheaper to play. Shrek. Now that's a good hand. Hmm. When you play ten cards, draw one card. Another boon for a tactic. <laughs> but I think I want to skip this selection. Don't tell me to pick up those cards. I want my consistency. Let's upgrade our draw power. We need to play this carefully. He gets a uh, really powerful uh, 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 power up mode uh, when he goes below half. At least the, the turn after that. <laughs> Our nunchucks and ink bottle are both ready. Let's maintain our vulnerability. <laughs> Anger, underclap. I actually want this card to exhaust, so 
We draw one. Let's go all out on this guy. <laughs> I think we get uh, we've got together a very good strategy for this uh, level. Now he's powering up and uh, unleashes his full wrath. <laughs> But we can just uh, try and uh, take him down before he can get the attack off. <laughs> and we are successful. <laughs> we could help us bolster our max HP a bit. Out of these. I want black blood the most. <laughs> I would rather not clog up my deck with uh, useless cards. Hmm. There's no shops on this side. One you need, one upgrade. I like this path a lot. Let's stall a bit and try to draw the uh, feet. We bought it. <laughs> this is a very good cat. The best uh, option out of East is basically always this one. It's the same bus from earlier, but by now we are much stronger. Rage basically cancels out his ability entirely. <laughs> Let's just block anyways to make sure we don't take too much damage. I would like to see if now. Hmm. More max HP for us. At the end of turn 70, 52 damage to all enemies. <laughs> Not very useful for us, I feel. <laughs> Skip.
Max HP is up. So HP up and through the spikers uh, damage. <laughs> no, you're good. Mm. I think we wanted the path that takes us to a shop. So I'll decline. <laughs> we have some max HP to spare. Now here's some uh, incentive to invest into AOE. <laughs> The first turn they uh, stab me for a wound, on the second turn they do much more damage, but they will also d uh, take themselves out attack using it. What do I need? Put the clash on top. That was a pretty severe hit. <laughs> Not quite. I better take him out before I take too much more damage. But I can teach combat with one strength. <laughs> Second wind is going to be a clutch block if we're in an emergency. Will we plus gives us two copies of an attack cut or a power? Let's burst him down. The black blood really helps us uh, recover from that Raptomancer. I want another copy of Anger. More max HP. Hmm. More block. Yo, this guy plays straight, right into a strategy. Hmm. Basically has an absolutely massive amount of hit points, but 
but every time I play a cat, it takes 10% more damage for the rest of the turn. And we do play a lot of attacks each turn. <laughs> At least we are building towards it. And when his countdown goes up, uh, he will make a uh, really hard attacks. <laughs> At this point, exactly. <laughs> Let's duplicate Clash so it hits harder. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> Upgrade. Hmm. I would love to start each comment with a bit more block. <laughs> These block cards are so weak I want to get rid of one of them. This is the free uh beaten that exhausts for a dark embrace. <laughs> a colorless card, hey? I don't think any of these are good for me. Serenity. Two primitive conditions. Yes, I said what we brought surf the void of mission. Watch, remember, live. That's is the Watchers mission. Recently, one of your peers has stopped reporting on their assignment, a spy of unknown origin. As the fight ends, you continue on what's unfaced by the bloody scene that took place. The sensory stone texts are pretty cool because they uh, give you the backstory of a, a character in the game. Too weak. <laughs> so now it's the final boss for now. The Ancient One, the Awakened One. Let's cycle that back to the deck. <laughs> I definitely want to get rid of this cut, this uh, bad guys. <laughs> Hmm. Put rage on top of my deck. Hmm. We're doing pretty well so far. enough HP to spare. Uh, 
It's not over yet, though. I would like to duplicate my clash for a future usage. And I would like to cycle some cards so I can... Uh, charge up my relics and uh, get to those uh, duplicated cards faster. Look who's ready up there in the top of my relics. <laughs> 40 damage uh, fake head on, but uh, I can take it. Let's do some damage from my stone calendar. And we get just enough block to survive another turn. And we have easily enough damage to close it out. That's a win! <laughs> Deep pausing red confirm. The heart of a spire. This is the end of a line for now. But still. We'll be getting further soon. And for getting points as a, a character, you can unlock more cards and relics for them. And this is the character we'll be playing next time, the Silent. <laughs> the credit roll. And we got one of those keys. I wonder what that could mean. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this stream. And I'll see you again tomorrow. I mean, at Wednesday. Bye!